Oh, good evening, good morning, good night, depending on which part of the world you're watching this video from. I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK, around the world, inside your homes. And welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, please like, subscribe and share. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Today's video is about um, a law that was passed just under a year ago. It was, yeah, it was in December 2018. And I don't know how many of you will remember, but what it did was to protect victims who put themselves forward, um, whether it was for rape, whether it was for assault, whether they witnessed a crime, and the police were not allowed to tell the Home Office about their status. Some of them were undocumented, some of them, their situation was a bit precarious, but nonetheless, um, a law went out protecting them, saying that the fact that they were victims and the fact that they'd reported a crime, they were secure and safe. And their victimhood is what stood, which is what gave them priority. The police were meant to be focusing on them as victims, um, as opposed to their status in the country. Before that law was passed out, the police were trawling through their central database or their na national database, um, looking for people who were um, illegally in the country or undocumented. And they weren't meant to do that. They, if they'd stopped somebody and that person, they stopped that person and arrested them, and they were doing their investigation, they wanted to find out whether or not that person was illegally in the country, that was totally different. But they were doing it ad hoc, apparently, according to sources. So now, um, so anyway, that law was passed in December 2018, and they weren't allowed to do it. And so I guess people who were victims of different kind, whether it was human trafficking, whether it was rape or whatever, they would go to the police officer and report um, their situation. And the police were meant to write down the um, information. Apparently, they stopped it also because they didn't want the police being seen as working too close with immigration. But we know that the police are working with immigration. We know that through Operation Nexus, they're working side by side, hand in hand. So I don't know what that's about. Anyway, so now, so that went all quiet and you didn't hear anything more about it. And then just recently I heard, um, because I've subscribed to this immigration channel, that they are reinstituting that law. So the police are now allowed to trawl through their database, look for any victim of crime um, or uh, crime or injustice or whatever it is, or any witness, somebody who's witnessed a crime, who may be, who is undocumented or who were undocumented at that time, and they're allowed to report them to the Home Office for deportation. So people who thought they were safe from the wrath of deportation, now they found another way to um, make you feel even more vulnerable than you felt before. And you know what is sad about that, though? People who are victims and, you know, who are, you know, I'm not talking about the odd victim. I'm talking about people who've been seriously harmed and who have gone to the police as a last resort, despite their status, because they felt so vulnerable. It's like the threat of where they were living is even worse than the threat of being thrown out of the country. So they go to the police office and they report their situation. And now the police are allowed to go through all their records and look at their status because their status was documented at the time and report them to immigration. So it looks like um, this immigration thing is rearing its ugly head again. Um, it never did go quiet. It's just using different strategies. Um, and really it's about un undoing any little um, any little law that was there to protect the victim, you know, undoing it and making them vulnerable again. 
So I thought I would share that with you. I don't think there's anything more that I need to say. Scotland Yard has recommended the new strategy um, dovetailing off the hostile environment policy that use that used love um, landlords, DVLA, employers, banks, and and um, to squeal on individuals' nationality. And they usually did that by their name. They had a foreign name. They knew they were foreign, or they assumed they were foreign, and they would report, or they wouldn't give them jobs, or they wouldn't treat them, or whatever. So this is kind of a similar situation where, you know, people are just going to be hounded again. So, And they always do these things before Christmas, do you notice? The time where people want to be peaceful and happy, that's the time that they pull the rug from underneath your feet. Um, let me see what else. I just want to make sure there's nothing... The new rule has been revived and will no longer protect victims or witnesses of any offence to a crime. This will also, um, apparently Liberty um, says it will stop people from coming forward. Now, anybody who's a criminal will remain, not a criminal, anyone who is a victim will remain a victim. And they won't step forward, which is a shame, really. Um... The policy was called information exchange regarding victims of crime with no leave to remain. So they was allowed to exchange the information, but they weren't allowed to report that they were um, they had no leave to remain in the country. Anyway, the National Police Chief Council, NPCC, states that first and foremost, the police should treat the victim, not be focused on his or her status. And you know, you know, in my department where I work, you know, many men, they bring their, their wives over to this country. And um, sometimes they've just been married, so they don't have the status, the wife doesn't have the status, and they hold that wife for ransom, they don't give her money, they, you know, they beat them up, and they do all sorts. These are the type of women who, through no fault of their own, based on the trust of their spouses, come into this country and are left at the mercy of these spouses who know that they can't do anything about it because they haven't got a status, and they don't plan on giving them any status. So, you know, it's not just people who come over here deliberately to um, deceive the system. We get a lots of different types of situations and people caught up into this, how they become victims. It's like human trafficking. They're, they're victims because they genuinely thought they were coming over here to get a legal status, to get a legal job. And then once they come here, their passport is taken away. They confiscate their passport. They, they don't give them the job that they thought they were going to get. They don't give them the home that they thought they were going to get. And they're here preca living a precarious life with no status. And so, you know, these people are doubly victimised. But anyway, I just thought I'd put it out there. That's all for now. Bye-bye.